hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames and if you're new here be sure to go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell and join the family so guys many people have been calling out miss kimmy cakes asking her why is it that she's not coming out to speak out against her husband kanye west for his anti-Semitic statement as though Kim does not have four kids with Kanye West and has recently beefed up security because she was so scared for her kids. Do you think that Kim is going to just come out rightfully and say, how dare you say such thing about the Jewish community? How dare you, you know, rot in hell, go die. People were expecting her to do that, literally. So I think that after much pressure, Kim has finally said something about um Kanye West anti-semitic remark the best way that she can I believe that this is the best way that she can based on the amount of pressure that she's under so Kim posted on Twitter and I quote hate speech is never okay or excusable I stand together with the Jewish community and call on the terrible violence and hateful rhetoric towards them to come to an immediate end I definitely understand, Kim, and definitely agree with you. Neither is calling your store KKKK is okay after what the black community has been through. Neither is it okay for you to ignore your own Armenian community after they've been calling you and calling out to you for help and to use your platform to say something about the horrendous acts of crime and violence against them do you see it all goes together hand in hand hate is never okay Act crimes of um acts of crime and violence towards any community whether it may be black jewish armenian is never okay however all in all i definitely understand what she's saying because she has to put up this face because guess what miss kimmy cakes want this deal with balenciaga because balenciaga is letting us know that they're gonna work with kimmy cakes in the future and we see kylie jenna's also snugly beside um Anna Wintour as though she is the new it girl but I mean how much can this one family do without any um form of talent because they do have creativity we cannot knock them down for that they're very creative in their demise <laughs> to overthrow and to basically swindle a lot of people out of their business deals allegedly Britney Spears is said to be still trying to get her $600 million from the Kardashian Jenners, allegedly. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about why is it that Kim need, um, felt the need to um, be a part of this bandwagon to call out Kanye West. Well, she did mention his name, but we know who she's talking about. She needs to chart carefully because whatever falls on Kanye's head falls on his kid's shoulder so she has to be, be be careful but i think that after much debate and discussion this is the best thing that she could come up with without um people you know throwing any blows towards kanye west and without any negative ramification towards her kids now i also believe that this is kanye west being gaslighted by his um ex-wife kim kardashian because if you look into it why is it that kim did not call out kanye west all this time until balenciaga said that they're looking into working with kim in the future as such i believe that she's definitely gaslighting this man for fame and attention we have seen other celebrity couples where their partners have said hateful stuff about the black community the jewish community and no one asks their spouse to you know dismiss what your husband said or to dismiss what your wife said about the black community take for example donald trump i cannot remember anyone asking melania to come out and dismiss what Trump said about the black community, the Hispanic community, etc. So why is it that people are calling out and calling upon Kim to dismiss Kanye West? It's as though they know that 
Kim has no respect for Kanye West. She has no likeness for him. She's always gaslighting this man. And as such, yes, gaslight him one more time because guess what? We know you weren't there for the long haul. We know that you were there for just all the access that you can get for all the accolades that comes with Kanye West and that's not there anymore. So guess what? It should be easy for you to throw him under the bus. This is why I said that there are some things that Kanye says that I believe. America pushes this dream about family, but when you have a family, that's the first thing that they target. They try to ruin your family. They try to tear your family apart. Many people may say, oh, but that's Kanye's doing, or oh, that's Kim's doing. But what about everyone else who is involved? People have been saying that Kim should take away the kids from Kanye and take away all his money. Kanye is crazy. He should not be able to see his kids. It goes to show that America does tear family apart, irrespective of the fact that they push, push this narrative that families first and they believe in protecting family. Because consistently, we have seen so many comments from the public for Kanye to go in and Kim and for Kim to call out Kanye West. And that is basically tearing people apart. I believe that Kim could have spoke to Kanye privately, privately about his comments and his statements. If she really believed that what Kanye West did is wrong, saying such thing publicly does not make it right. And it doesn't address the fact that, okay, she disagrees. Because she might be saying publicly she disagrees, but then in reality, it may be something completely different. But that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about Kim coming out to say she dismisses any hate against the Jewish community, knowing that it is her ex-husband, the father of her four kids, who is now being called out for his anti-Semitic remarks about the Jewish community. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and remember, mm -hmm. if you haven't subscribed as yet, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.